Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Top Cat's house. Before we begin building, I just want to let you know that I am only going to be showing you how to make the actual house itself and the iconic telegraph pole. I think that you guys, if you wanted to, would be able to build all of the surrounding scenery quite easily. So I'll just focus on the more complicated parts of the build. But without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here are all of the materials that we are going to be using to make the house and a couple of the details surrounding as well. Please make sure that you have access to those and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the house is a little bit up to you, but just to make the house and the telegraph pole requires about a 17 block by an 8 block area. Feel free to make this grid if you are tight on space. Of course, pause the video if you have to, gather your materials, make sure you've got enough room and make sure that you're ready. And once you have all of those things complete, we can begin. So step one ladies and gentlemen involves us coming to the very front right hand corner of the grid, which is right here. From the front right hand corner of the grid, I want you to count to the left by two. One, two. Place three stone bricks on top of this block. One, two, three. Then place two stone slabs going left of the stone brick. One, two. Place a stone brick left of the slabs and extend downwards to connect down to the ground. I want you to take a bird's eye view of what we've just made. And I want you to, beginning from the block on the ground, I want you to place two stone bricks coming backwards and to the left of the last stone brick that you placed. From the second stone brick, I want you to move backwards by three. One, two, three. Place two back to the right stone bricks. Extend to the right by one, two, three. Place two stone bricks front and right. Go down by three. And then place a diagonal stone brick connecting all the way back to where you first started. This kind of reminds me of an astronaut helmet actually, or kind of like an upside down fishbowl, but this is the shape that you want to have. Now, once you have achieved this shape, I want you to take all of the stone bricks, except the ones uh, at the front of the build, and I want you to extend them all upwards by 12, every single one, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, just like that. And we are going to do this to every single one of these stone bricks. And we will, once we have taken care of all of these side stone bricks, the ones that are all by them all by their lonesomes, we will take care of the blocks of the front of the entrance as well. Whatever method you want to try and use to extend all of these upwards is completely up to you. As I am on bedrock, I can't build up and down in a nice linear fashion as I would like to, so I'm kind of reduced to either going like left and right, or like all the way up and down, as you can't build smoothly down as you can build up, which is kind of weird, but hey, it's how it is. So. The goal of this is to create a nice empty looking trash can, a nice blank canvas, or ca canvas, tra trash canvas? You guys get it. To create a nice empty trash canvas that we can add some windows to and some other minor details. It's not a particularly detailed house, but I'm sure that you guys will still get a kick out of this anyway, because it does really go, it goes quite well in uh, in your worlds, trust me. So, eventually you will have raised up all of these blocks, and they will all be about as high as each other. And now, we are going to add details to the lower part of the trash can before we move upwards. So, the entrance to Top Cat's house is situated right here, okay? It's where this big double door is. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to place a door, one row inwards on the left or right side, I prefer the right. And I'm going to place some spruce wood planks around the door like this. So the spruce wood planks are just going to sit one block backwards, they're going to cover up all of the empty space. And that will be that. Nothing else really to say. The windows are quite simple as well. There's two rows of windows on the house, the one on the corner, and then the one on the front of the build will focus on the corner ones first. So, 
We're first of all just going to focus on this diagonal row of stone bricks. Beginning from the bottom of the stone bricks row, I want you to move up from this bottom block and knock out two blocks coming upwards. I want you to leave two stone bricks alone coming upwards like one, two, count them out, destroy two. And then once more, count out two stone bricks and then destroy two. Just like that, right? And we're going to destroy the stone brick blocks left of these as well. Just one row to the left, just like that. Place stone slabs at the base of the windows like this. That's perfect. Additionally, we're going to come to the front of the build. And we're going to line up with the stone slab of the entrance, this right stone slab. And we're going to leave a gap of two coming upwards, which is like one and two. And then we're going to destroy two stone bricks coming upwards. And you will find that these also go together with the row on the left. These coincide with each other. Meaning, if we leave another row of two coming upwards, we also want to destroy another row of two. And you can see that they all line up together. And then just destroy an additional row right of each window. And there you will have all that you need. Place your stone slabs on there and then everything will be just fine. We're now going to move up towards the top of the build. So, up at the top of the build, being a giant trash can, we are going to add a lid to said trash can. Begin by placing a layer of light grey concrete directly on top of the top layer of stone bricks. So, going all the way around, making a circle like this. We're going to join the corners together using your light grey concrete because we want to create a very particular shape. Like that. We're going to add a layer of light grey concrete above and inside of this. So that's exactly how it sounds. Take the empty shape, add a layer of light grey concrete just making sure that it fits the shape just up at the top of the trash can like this and we just want to utilise that empty space just like that. We're going to place at the top of the trash can, there's actually a few details. So, for instance, on the front right hand corner of the can, and make sure you're on the front right hand corner, you're looking for this block specifically, there is a thing, kind of looks like a chimney pot of some sort, on the can. So, stone wall, stone slab on top. There is a handle for said trash can, the handle's easy to make. Begin on either side and place a stone brick stairs like this, coming inwards, on both sides, like the very left and very right. You then want to place stone brick slabs coming inwards from the stairs, extend the slabs upwards, and then join them together like that at the top. And that is the handle. Additionally, there is an antenna. The antenna is very easy to make. Simply pick any block around here towards the back left hand corner. This will do, this corner block. I'm going to place a cobblestone wall, and then a couple of iron bars on top. Going to extend the iron bars to the right by two, specifically one and two. And I'm going <laughs> to... Iron bars, so much fun. And extend them left by one. And then I'm going to take this block on the right, the first one that we extended to the right, and I'm going to extend it upwards, like that. And you will find in doing that, you actually have a pretty cool looking house. But the only thing that we're missing is there is a lip at the top of the trash can, which means all you've got to do is place stone slabs going all the way around the base of the light grey concrete that you have around the top of the trash can, and that's that's just the lid, that's all that is, it's the lip of the lid, so it like forms the seal and stuff. Once you have done that, we are now going to make the telegraph pole, the telephone pole, whatever you would call it. So. On the left side of the build, I want you to take either the middle left block or the middle right block. And we are going to count from the middle left or the middle right, whichever, really doesn't matter. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on the knife block, either the middle left or the middle right, we're going to place a row of 14 spruce wood planks coming up from the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like that. You should find it's actually about as high as the first row of light, uh, light grey concrete in the trash can. We're going to extend the 13th block, not the 14th, the 13th block to the left by 2. 1, 2, kind of like a cross. And to the right by 2. 1, 2, again, kind of like a cross. Additionally, we're going to add a little bit of detail to it. So there's a phone. That's the significance of the telegraph pole, the telephone pole. 
<laughs> Make, makes sense. There's a phone. And at the bottom, we want to place, it's specifically a red phone. We want to leave a gap of two coming from the bottom of the inside right of the telephone pole. We'll call it telephone pole. And we'll place two red concretes coming out of the two blocks, leaving a gap of two from the ground because it looks nice and balanced. As all things should be. Place a tripwire hook coming out of the right of the uh, right of the red concrete block and a button underneath. So it looks like a little phone. Like an old school phone, of course, but a phone nonetheless. We're also going to place a couple of iron bars coming up the left and right sides, kind of like uh, diagonally like this in the pattern. Reason being is these things are meant to be climbed. You're, if you were like in, in that sort of profession, then you would climb all the way up to the top and you'd fix the wires and stuff. But I uh, I mean, that's too dangerous for us. So we're just going to place some iron bars on the side to give that look that you can climb up there. And now that we've done that, you'll actually find that you have completed the house. But if you wanted to add a couple more, uh, a little bit more detail, uh, Two things that you could add. I'm going to recommend two things that uh, you can do without having to go into too much detail. So, if you want to, you can make the surrounding area grass path. So, use a shovel and just shovel the land and make it into a grass path type material. The reason being is because that is the natural sort of looking grassy area around the uh, around the house. It's kind of like dirt. That's that's the whole idea. You might also want to cover up the windows, depending on how you're going to use this house, if at all. You might just want to kind of like place it in your city because it's kind of a cool thing. I love doing this in my cities. I love placing cartoon related houses or famous houses of some sort of description around my city. And that way you've kind of got some really cool Easter eggs, like, you know, like the Ghostbusters building and stuff. And in doing that, if you cover up the windows using grey concrete, black concrete, any sort of dark colour really, as long as it's not a really colourful colour, you don't want it to look like a disco, maybe you do, then you will have completed your house, and that is what it will look like. But uh, let me go one step further and let me just clean up the numbers and stuff, and then I can really show you what the house would look like once you have completed this particular part. So, here we are ladies and gentlemen, you can see the area is a lot cleaner now, we've gotten rid of all the concrete, we have covered up the windows, and we have even put a little bit of grass path everywhere, and that's pretty much all you need to do to really make this house stand out, and people who have any sort of knowledge of Top Cat will probably see this and get a pretty good kick out of it, but if you did want to go one step further than this ladies and gentlemen, this is about as far as you have to go, but if you really wanted to take it to the next level, you could do what I decided to do, which is so this is what you may choose to do to your top cat house depending upon how crazy you want to get with it and depending on where you're building it it is cool to add a little bit of scenery the scenery is incredibly easy to add begin by placing a double high white wall directly behind top cat's house then make some square and rectangular and sometimes irregular shapes around the back of the house. Make sure that those shapes are staggered, meaning have one in the forefront, one in the back front, and keep alternating between them and give them windows. And that is really, it's just such an easy thing to do and it does really enhance the build a lot. The problem being is depending upon where you're building this, I mean this isn't appropriate, hence why I haven't included it in the part in, you know, as a tutorial part of the video, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I love doing older stuff and I think that you guys might enjoy it as well. If you do want to see more of my stuff, stick around, click the subscribe button, make sure that you have hit the bell as well, that'll make sure that everything is sent directly to your sub box. And if you would like to make some more cartoon builds, new or old, then check out the card system and the description below. I'll probably even leave a link at the top of the comments too. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you very, very much. Without any further ado, I'm gonna go. Good. Hang on, I wanna jump off something. Good. Bye.